2023 first runner-up is Beanie Beanie number 33, Katrina Ann Johnson. This year's Beanie Beanie Filipinas Globe is Beanie Beanie 24, Anna Lasetia Lacrini. Beanie Beanie Filipinas International 2023 is Beanie Beanie. up, navel to your spine, and perineum squeezed. Always direct your eyes to your judges and to your audience and never look down, okay? So again, you may now do your walk. With a twirl. That's great. So tell me, Louie, right? Yes, How difficult is it? Mahirap ba talagang gumawa ng beauty queen? Mahirap po. Mahirap? Mahirap po. Pero kapag ganyan ka kabata, okay lang na ganyan katataas ang mga heels. Yes po. Hours po yan. Oras po yung tinatahak nila pagka naka-heels po. Oo. Araw -araw. So ngayon, kapag nadapa ka, ano ang 101? Dapa 101. Ano ang gagawin? <laughs> Kailangan tumayo, recover it because it's the recovery that makes sense, hindi yung pagka-fall. Ay, ganun. Yes, so, kapag nalaglag on stage, may tutulong ba? Wala po. Ah, wala? Yes. So, they, they tell you that if that happens, you're on your own? Yes. Ah, ganun. Yes, Tinuturo din yun. Hindi pa po, pero oh, <laughs> kasi ayaw is, po namin mangyari. This is, okay, but this is the first time, yes. only on Karina Interviews. <laughs> Okay. Oh, dito. <laughs> okay. And Binibining Pilipinas International fell. Wag naman sana. How will you recover? Ayan. Oh, palapaka naman for Angelica Lopez. <laughs> That's the first time for everything. And of course, pag nalaglag si Binibining Pilipinas, Globe Anna Lacrini, nakapoise pa rin at suot pa rin ang corona. Ayan, papano ka? Tatayo ulit. From the floor. With a matching. Oh, twirl. Yahoo! Ganon pa rin yun. Nakangiti pa rin dapat kahit ang sakit. Okay, very good. Well done. First runner-up, Katrina Johnson. Poise pa rin malaglag. Oh, legs together. <laughs> legs together pa rin siya. Okay, now you can get up. Oh, ayan. Why not? And then, ayan. Yeah. Very good. Oh, it is in the getting up yeah. that is what will determine victory. Oh, yes, diba? <laughs> oh, ayan. Isasama na daw nila sa curriculum nila. <laughs> yes. And so, makikita natin ang kanilang husay, hindi lang sa rampa, kung hindi sa buhay. Ang kanilang mga kwentong buhay at hugot dito lang sa... Karina Interviews! Interviews.
and the Binibining Pilipinas International, Angelica Lopez is in the house! Hey! hey, hey. hey, hey. Naku, pressure! Pressure! <laughs> Anim na Miss International ay yes, Pilipina. I know. <laughs> wow! Alam mo, sa pagkakapanalo mo, marami talaga naman ang, lalo ng mga palawen yun, no? Talagang yes. nagdiriwang talaga sila doon. And um, nararamdaman mo ba yung pressure, yung bigat ng corona mo at yung Ooh. symbolism niyan? <laughs> Na ang dami nang nanalo na yes. Miss International na Pilipina? Uh, honestly po, I understand that um, the responsibility of wearing a crown is really huge and heavy. But I chose this path, path po talaga and I, I'm willing, more than willing to do what I need to do as the reigning Binibining Pilipinas International. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so happy po to bring pride and honor not only to my province but also to the whole Philippines. So, kahit na dami, alam ko, everyone perceives that being a beauty queen is will, will be super hard. But for me, even though the journey will be difficult, well, I'm willing and more than ready to take on the challenges. Eh, why not? Eh, kasi nanalo ka na. O, ayan na, di ba? Pero alam mo yung feeling? Yung feeling yes. na, okay, nanalo ako. Wow, nanalo ako. Ano yung, ano yung pagkakaiba nung pressure dati? Mm -mm. And ngayon, yung pressure naman na international na ang magiging contest. Pressure po na, I think it's, it's more on like a good pressure po na mas na-excite po ako sa kung ano yung um, magiging preparation ko for Miss International. And even though I understand that pressure is really there, mm -mm. normal naman po talaga na merong pressure, especially being a beauty queen and a lot of people. Kasi you, you present yourself to a lot of people. Oh. Pero ako po, honest to goodness, Gusto ko lang i-enjoy ah, the whole journey. Oo naman. I think, oh. no? I think dapat talaga i-enjoy eh. No? Yes, exactly. So, do you think yun talaga ang susi para manalo? Kailangan mm -mm. enjoy ka lang or pang ilang beses mo na itong sumali? Nang pageant, well, I joined several pageants na po sa Palawan. Mayad nga dlaw kanindong tanan. I am Angelica Lopez, aga representar i ang banuang kuyo. I am not quite sure kung pang ilan na po yung binibining Totoo, Pilipinas. Totoo, kontesera ka sa Palawan? Yes, I am. Wow! Okay, balikan natin ang Palawan. Doon siya mm -hmm. ipinanganak. Yes po. Ang iyong morenang kutis ay dahil sa naaarawan ka parati o talagang mm -hmm. ganyan ka na no, talaga? No po, kasi ang from my mother's side, Maputi po talaga sila. Pero sa father ko po, medyo mga moreno po sila. Kaya na, 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 naman ako po yung kulay ko sa father ko. I see. Okay. So, <laughs> o, ang, ang balita ko. Alam nyo, yung mga nananalong beauty queen, ang dami sa kanila, ang kwento, nabubuli sila dahil hindi sila kagandahan ng bata. Opo. Right? <laughs> ano nga ba yung tinatawag sa'yo dati? Um, everyone's calling me na like bangkay, sungay kilay, kasi I have puyo on my eyebrows po. May puyo ka yes. sa kilay? so parang isa yon sa inaasar sa akin ng mga bata dati. Ay, tandaan ko, may puyo sa kilay yeah. ang anak ninyo, <laughs> siswertihin sa buhay. Ah, yes. O, oh, diba? <laughs> Then, ano po? Kasi bangkay matang, kasi payat ka. Yes, because I, I, I'm always, well, well, I was always the tallest one po sa classroom namin. Tapos parang siguro weird for other people back then na kapag ikaw yung pinakamatangkad, parang sabi nila, hindi sila nagagandahan. Because uh, they think that like the average height of Filipino is hindi naman ganun katanggaran. And ako, matangkad ako compared to my other classmates. And... Um, sobrang hard po for them to find a partner for me, especially if we have activities. Ah, ganun. So, opo. Mm -mm. Pero so, pa paano, mag, paano mo nalagpas? May friends ka naman. I have Meron friends. Meron naman. So, pero honestly po, na, na, I grew up introvert po kasi. So, I was a very shy kid back then. And mm. mas na-enjoy ko yung ka own company ko. But I have like few friends. And those people who really understand. I think understand importante yon na mm -mm. friend mo ang sarili mo. Apo, talaga. <laughs> Pero mahirap na yung kausap mo parati ang sarili mo. Oh, iba na yon. Iba na yon. Iba na yon. Oh, sa mandalu yung na antulin natin. Yun. Okay. Pero you grew up more introverted. Pero shy. Pero gusto mo maging beauty queen. 
Bakit? Yes. Paano, paano nangyari yun? Sabi mo, konti sera ka na, bata ka pala. Mm -hmm. Pero shy ka. Yes po. Well, ever since I joined beauty pageants, it really helped me to boost my self-confidence. With the help of my mother din po, and my manager, and those people who supported me and believed in me, I was able to unleash that power that was hidden within me po. So, dati sobrang mahiyain talaga ako, but ever since I joined beauty pageants, eventually, I learned how to really communicate towards other people and to express my thoughts and emotions. So, I'm super proud of myself right now. Wow! I'm sure even your parents. Yes. Eh, yung parents mo, paano nangyari na shy ka? Eh, mga performers sila, di ba? Mga musiko sila dalawa? Ah, Honestly po, si Ma, yung mother ko, sobra niyang outgoing and madami siyang friends. And sabi ko nga nung bata ko, bakit hindi ko naman na yung ganung confidence sa mother ko? Oh. And then baka lang talaga late bloomer po ako. Ah, yes, baka ganun. <laughs> baka so, naman ako talaga. <laughs> mama at papa mo, pareho silang musiko, banda? Yes, my mother was the vocalist of the band. Oh. And my father was the lead guitarist po. Ang galing yes. naman. But so, my father can play all the instruments like drums, bass guitar, electric guitar. Ay, ang galing. Yes. Hey, ikaw, meron kang... Um, musical inclination? I, yes, I am musically inclined. I know how to sing. Although oh. I can't say naman ako yung pinakamagaling. Uh -oh. But I know how to sing. I love singing. And oh. also I play basic guitar po. Totoo? Yes. Anong favorite song mo? Isang linya naman dyan. Well, uh, my favorite song would probably be... Ang dami po kasi eh. Pero... Oh, sige, pumili ka. Nihintay <laughs> ka rin. Um, sige, uh, ano ba? Like... Sig uh, isn't she lovely na lang po? Oh, sige. For my, okay. Ito kasi um, dedicated to my mother then. Oh, nice. Yes. So, sa pagiging beauty queen mo ngayon, busy ka pa rin. Yes. Okay. Teka muna, bago naging beauty queen, nagbara-barangay muna tayo. Ilang okay. barangay yun ang sinalihan mo? Hindi mo na matandaan. Um, I think I joined two barangays po. Uh -oh. So, my barangay, the first barangay that I've joined, that's where we resided po, my family. And then, Ayun nga yung story po, I was discovered sa wake po, I was serving coffee. Sa lamay? Yes. <laughs> Nagbibigay ka ng kape-kape sa lamay? Yes, kasi po, um, oh. family friend namin yung namatayan. And so, I was there, I was serving coffee sa guest. And then, yung neighbors ko po, they were like murmuring and asking po, sabi nila, sino daw ang i-represent sa purok namin? And then, when I passed in front of them, they told na, uh, parang they said na, Oh, yung anak na lang daw ng, ni Maria kasi my, my mother's nickname is Maria po. And then, yun, everyone agreed and everyone approved and then eventually I competed po and then I won sa pageant namin sa barangay and it continued po. Actually, there's two sides of the story po. So that's the first one. And the second one is outside of my school. So I was, after the pageant, the first barangay pageant, I was also discovered outside of my school. That's when I was introduced to my manager po. So my nanay nanayan, Beyonce Lopez, recruited me and then eventually introduced me to my manager. Ayun. Yeah. Kaya ka napunta sa Manila. Yes. Okay. So, bago yung binibining Pilipinas, sa Manila ka na or talagang luwas sa, ka pa? Luwas po. Because ah. I also joined a pageant po last year, eh, national pageant din po. Oh. So, I need to move here in Manila. I see. Okay. Sabi ko nga eh, try once, twice, thrice. Why yes. not? Hindi ba? Hanggang masungkit. Sabi nga po ni Catriona, you are never denied, only redirected. Oh, wow. Meron siyang mga ganong quotation. Ano, you are never denied, only redirected. Next naman. Pero ang direksyon niya, talagang sa pageant pa rin bumagsak. Hindi ba? So, your advocacy now is poverty and kids. Bakit? Kasi? Because I understand what it feels like to be in that situation. And I know it's hard po. I came from a very humble beginning in Palawan po. Okay, so medyo hirap ang buhay noon. Kaya ka rin ba sumasali ng mga beauty pageant para kumita? Yes, I joined the beauty pageant po talaga dati kasi I've seen how hard our situation is. Parang I had that initiative to help my parents po. So sabi ko, when I was discovered to join in a beauty pageant, I realized that I have a great potential and that I use beauty pageant as an avenue for me to earn money then po to support my studies and as well as to help my my mother and my father po with the household. Um, ah, ano rin po, gastusin.
medicine, expenses. Oo. Ah, ganun yes. pala, ano? Mm. So, yun ang gusto mong advocacy ngayon. Yes, mm. and also I started din po kasi to join in an organization in Palawan. I was 17 years old that time, so I was introduced po in that organization. So, it's a youth organization which is Teen Goals Organization that helps educate, support, and empower the lives of the less fortunate children in our community. Oh. At least in your small way. Yes, we can help, of course. And because, uh, you know, I understand the man uh, we cannot like have that immediate result naman talaga. It's it's not like that. Poverty is a big thing, it's a big issue here in the in the Philippines. So what do you think will it take to win Miss International? Oh, it will take a lot. You need to have you need to be goal driven po talaga. Uh -oh. And to also have that kind of mindset that only focuses on the goal. To never distract yourself from all of the negative voices that is coming and of course distracting you from achieving that goal. And yes, <laughs> that's what I did, that's what I did po. So with the help of also those people around me, my team, the Mami G, Mami B, my manager, Thom Pavela, my family, my friends, I was able to really you know, stay true to my core po, and to never leave my core because it what really strengthened me to further step up po sa, sa game na pinasa ko. So, I hope that everyone has that kind of um, like mental fortitude po because I know that being a beauty queen and also joining a beauty pageant will be super challenging. But if you have a strong mind and a brave heart, just like what I've said din po, you will really get there sa destination na gusto mong marating. Brave heart ka talaga. <laughs> yes, I Sabi am. Sabi nila, ang Miss International daw, kailangan uh, mistisa. Mm -mm. Hindi rin, Melanie Marquez was dark. I know. Yes, so, ano yes. kung ka maniwala sa kanila? Mananalo tayo dahil. <laughs> yes. Bring home the crowd. Katrina and Castilleta Johnson, Davao del Sur! Binibini 33, Katrina and... And Binibining Filipinas first runner-up, Katrina Johnson, is in the house! Yay! I love her story. Grabe, Thank grabe ang kwento so mo. Talagang, pag sinabi niyong hugot, lahat itong mga reynang ito, parang nakikita mo perfect, right? Yes. Perfect hair, perfect skin, perfect posture, the perfect crown on your head. <laughs> Pero hindi perfect ang lives, true, right? True. In your case, ipinanganak uh, si Katrina in America. Yes, Bob. Hi, Katrina. Mom is right here. Hi. Hi. Can you show mommy your big smile? <laughs> Bakit kayo napunta doon? Uh, American father. Instance, yes, po. And Filipina mom. Yes, po. Pa paano ka napunta? Pa paano sila nagkita? So, nagkita sila sa Manila, po. Actually, my mom used to join pageants. Mm -hmm. So, it was her oh, first... Oh, Contesera? Yes. yes. Si mom. <laughs> in oh. the blood. Oh, oh. Um, she was joining a pageant in Manila, and it just so happened na nag-visit ang dad ko sa Manila. Oh. And since in the U.S., yes, there's pageantry, but it's not very often broadcast. So my dad passed by the venue and was kind of like, wait, what's that? Let me go ahead and watch. Um, and he ended up, I think, sitting next to my Lolo. And my Lolo was very outgoing. And so he's like, ah, anak ko yan. And my mom won that night. So my Lolo was feeling a little bit of, I guess, Confident and pride, I guess, and he was like, "Oh well, if ever you want to go to Mindanao, pwede naman ka magstay sa house namin." Inimbita ng lolo mo yung yes. dad mo. Bakit? Parang gusto niya magmatchmaking. I don't know. I oh. never asked, naman. But I guess there was something about my dad. No, parang he felt at ease. Oh, oh. And so my Take dad. Take note, eto ang dad niya ay deaf, yes. right? Yes. Oh. Oh. Ikwento mo yung dad mo. Ikwento mo muna yung dad mo. My okay? dad is unlike anyone else I've ever met. Um, he, or I've ever heard. <laughs> he actually wasn't diagnosed as being deaf when he was born. 
So I think it was like three to four years after and um, my grandma was thinking, well, you know, what's wrong with him that he's not being able to speak, he's only babbling like a baby, he's not even copying what they would say to him. And eventually they found out that he was deaf, so he was about four to five years behind in terms of learning, um, like vocabulary, any sort of, um, I guess, anything that would prepare him to go to school with other kids. So my Lola, or my grandma, sorry, worked with him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, she taught him how to speak and lip read all by herself. Wow. So my, my grandma's also very smart, and she taught him by having him place his hand on his throat and his other hand on her throat, and she would go through each of the vowels, consonants, every single word. So apple, and my dad would try to mimic whatever he felt, whatever mm. vibration Hindi he felt. Hindi niya pero nararamdaman ng kamay yes. niya. Yes. I, I Honestly, I don't know how he does it. Up until this day, if ever there's words that he doesn't know how to pronounce, he'll say, can I feel? And I'll say it again. So, apple, a, o, a, apple. Oh, okay. And that's how he understands. So he did that for the entire alphabet. Wow. Um, and eventually, by the time he graduated high school, he excelled in math, he had a vocabulary that surpassed his ate and everyone wow. else. So, pumunta siya in a regular school? Yes. So, wow. he never went to deaf school at all. He had to deal with school during the time where they didn't have computers. So, no PowerPoint. So, when the teacher would write on the blackboard, talagang hindi na siya pwede mag -lip read. So, he okay. had to base all of his learning on the books. Your father should write a book. You know what, you, you know, should. <laughs> to, help, to help all children with that kind of disability. He, he truly has such an inspiring story. At and ang dad mo, naging, what's his job again? He He's in finance, the right? He became financial analyst for, I think, it was ranked like top 38 wow. of the Fortune 500 companies. Ang galing so naman talaga. So smart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. See you. See you. Your mom was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, at first, she wasn't. So my mom actually went back to school to become my first teacher. So she actually applied at the school that I ended up going to during preschool, uh, even prep school, sorry, prep school, preschool, kindergarten. She was there the whole entire time, very hands-on. And then eventually when I got to first grade onwards, she wasn't my teacher anymore, but when she decided that she kind of wanted to be more hands-on when I got to high school, she ended up quitting her job oh. to be around. Where my mom was very, not protective but she really wanted to be there just because I think my Lolo and Lola weren't always there they weren't ah. always around so she wanted to make sure that I always had at least one parental figure that so was always so there. who put the idea in your head to For be a beauty pageantry? queen was it your mom Truthfully speaking, it was because of my mom that I thought I never wanted to join pageantry. Ah, because she's beauty queen of yes, mine. Yes, so I oh, thought oh. I wouldn't be able to reach her expectations if she had any. I didn't want to disappoint her legacy. Um, and eventually, when we moved here, I was in college, and our dean forced me to represent pharmacy in the college pageant. And I ended up winning there. Um, I represented the school in the citywide pageant. From there, I represented the city in the regionals. And I ended up going to my first national pageant. And I was luckily able to win that as well. And wow. throughout that experience, I was really able to go around the country and participate in like outreach programs. In the US? Here in, ah, in, the, here Philippines. in the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, wow. And oh. one of the things that I so admired about my mom was that in my upbringing in the US, she always organized small outreach programs for just the three of us. Mm. So me, my mom, and my dad go to orphanages. We would go to Home for the Aged every month, at least ah, once a month. Okay. Um, and I never understood why she kind of had that advocacy, service-oriented aspect to her. I thought that was something that was just kind of innate. And it was, but I think that was really kind of almost pushed because of pageantry that really mm. excelled and she wanted to carry that out even into our family life so when I was younger having that experience I was like okay when I grow up I want to be someone who does this too Galing. and oh. so when I was able to experience my first you know, national crown I thought oh, okay this is the side of pageantry that this is why my mom loves pageantry so much 
and I just fell in love with it. And I was always very shy, so I, I wasn't open to the idea of pageantry and being openly judged. But I thought, okay, like I can get through the stage part if it means that I get to interact with people and I get to give back and learn more. There's right. so many people with incredible stories out there, and right. it's so humbling to be able to communicate with them and get, you know, even an ounce of their time, the lessons that they've learned. So I fell in love with pageantry there, and me and my mom were talking, and she was like, okay, Anna, I know that you said before you didn't want to join pageant, so I know na. I think I want to join Beanie Beanie. I don't know when, but I'm going to join Beanie Beanie. And she told me, she's like, you know what? That was my dream when I was your age too. And so that kind of put a little bit more pressure on me, knowing uh -oh. that it was her unfulfilled dream. dream. Right. Um, and so because, well, um, well, maybe not everybody knows. Yeah. Um, you started the dream with her. Yes. Pero nagkasakit siya. Yes. Kailan yon? At what point was that? Was um, did you already apply with Bini Bini? No, I hadn't mm. yet. So I had purposely waited until I graduated college to join Bini Bini. So that but 2020, that mm. was the original plan. Mm. My mom was diagnosed with cancer in December of 2018, and then she had exasperated all chemotherapy options. She was on, I think, her second clinical trial by August of 2019. Um, she really didn't want to give up. She was 47 at the time. 47! I know. So she, was, she wasn't ready. She did not entertain the idea of giving up at all. Um, she wouldn't even talk about death, obviously. And I, I guess in a way, because of that, I kind of tried to, I guess almost, I was almost in denial that death was an option because mm. I saw how persistent she was in terms of wanting to fight this. Um, and eventually, you know, unfortunately, it happens with clinical trials that sometimes it just doesn't click. And she got worse. So by December of 2019, it was almost like she was just waiting for me to come back. And so it was really just, she deteriorated from there. Mm. Um, I was really thankful though because I had passed the board exam months before here in the Philippines. For pharmacy? Yes. Mm -mm. And so when I went back to the U.S., her team absorbed me. Mm -mm. And technically you're not supposed to do that since it's a close relative and your logic can get clouded with emotions. But I was really there, hands-on. Every aspect that you can Mahirap think of. Yun, na. Yes. Mahirap yun, di ba? And, and that's why, you know, truthfully speaking, it did make me almost question if I did want to pursue pharmacy afterwards. Mm -mm. Because I was so up close and personal and it really hit close to home. And I thought, well, can I do this every day? And can I deal with other families knowing what they're going through? I, I thought, am I strong enough to handle mm -hmm. that? That I almost wasn't strong enough to handle it with my mom and my dad. So. Do you remember what takeaway you, you, you have from your mother, hindi naman siya nagbilin kasi sabi mo nga, hindi naman niya iniisip na no, mawawala siya, yes. right? Pero sa lahat ng mga natutunan mo sa mom mo or things that she said in her mm. lifetime, what really strikes you most or, or is left in your head? My favorite that I always look for in people as well is humility. My mom said, no matter what you achieve in life, no matter how rich you are, how famous you are, how successful, or how non-successful you are, be humble. Um, we are all individuals that were put on this earth. It's a level playing field. Some people are a little bit more blessed than others in certain ways, but other people are rich in talent, are rich in skills. We're all rich in our own way. Mm. And you shouldn't compare yourself to someone else or you shouldn't belittle someone else mm. because they don't have as much as you think you have. And I think that's really guided me, especially being in pageantry. And I guess people can say that we have a little bit more influence now, but I really do think it's important to stay humble and, and stay connected to your roots. For Inspiration sure. talaga niya yung mom and dad niya. Grabe yeah. dad mo talaga. I know. No, <laughs> grabe talaga yung dad mo. Yung mom mo, for, for whatever short life she lived, she lived it fully. Yes. Sayang hindi ka lang niya nakita, pero pinapaalala niya parati sa sarili niya about her mama. Yes. Because your mom loves butterflies, right? I specifically made my national costume the Walling Walling for her. And then every step of the journey, I've had a butterfly with me. So either on my clothes, 
on my ring, um, accessories. I've had some small symbol or token of a butterfly, even though, even if other people didn't know, at least I knew, and that kind of gave me a sort of silent confidence. Um, it definitely wasn't just my journey, it was her journey as well, it was her dream as well. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that she was here in some way or another. Nice, <laughs> nice. So you incorporated the butterfly in Yes, even in my evening things. gown, the shape of my evening gown was not like the usual pageant gowns. I had almost like that sort of accent and that was inspired by the wings of a butterfly. Ah, so, yeah. so it's also like um, your inspiration yeah. each time. Yeah, mm. I wanted to make sure she was there and I think it did give me a little bit of a boost of confidence right. at least. As first runner-up, alam nyo siya, kailangan pa rin talaga niyang mag-prepare, right? You <laughs> yes, still have to prepare, so... you still have to like, um, if anything happens, you're going to be uh, either Miss Globe or Miss International, is yes, that correct? Yes, wow, as far as I yon, know. Ano? Okay, so but later on, probably you'll end up with uh, health, in mm -hmm. the health field because pharmacist ka. Yes. Ayon. And it remains your advocacy. My advocacy revolves around wanting to promote sustainable and democratized healthcare. So just healthcare for everyone. I don't think that it should be a luxury that only select people are able to avail. Um, I think it's a human right regardless of religion, regardless of socioeconomic status. I, I think that is something that everyone should have access to and unfortunately you know, there are some people in our country who don't have access to not only hospitals, but even medical practitioners. So I started out with um, the Maharlika Charity Foundation donating, and then I told myself, because I was able to see their outreach programs, I told myself, when I'm licensed, I'll come back and I'll try to do more for the community. So in Davao, I've been able to partner with barangays, oh, and nice. I've incorporated oh. that child and um, like the elderly mm -hmm. aspect with my mom, how we used to do outreach programs. I do the same with the barangays, so teaching little kids about the importance of staying healthy, their vitamins, etc. Nice. Um, with the elderly, the same way, if they have questions about their maintenance medications, kind right. of informing them ways to stay healthy. No, so. you should join again. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi nga nila, three times the charm. Oh, Hindi natin masasabi. <laughs> and you better better be ready because we have a Q&A a little later. Oh no, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> How do you prepare for Q&A? You know, honestly, I have never tried Q&A training, like hands-on, full, you know what I mean? But I like to think that the experiences that I've had in my life give me some sort of, I guess, a different perspective right, right. in terms of what other people would expect. Right. So. I try to draw from my own experience, the things that I've learned, the things that my parents have taught me, right. um, and I'm able to implement that in the questions that I answer. Well, malalaman natin yan mamaya. <laughs> Abangan! Yeah. Binibini Pilipinas Globe, Ana Lacrini is in the house! Yay! Congratulations! Thank you so much for, thank you for having me again. Of course, and then of course I want to find out. Una, uh, talagang uh, pangarap ng bawat babae, bata pa lang kaming lahat, gusto na namin magsuot ng corona. Like a queen. Ah, talaga. So una, mabigat ba yan? Uh, hindi po. Konti lang. It's, it's just the honor that you carry with it. And there's just, just a little bit of pressure also, which is also good because it's an honor and also with, with a little bit of pressure to represent the Philippines. Dear. Okay, so you mean that um, the weight of the crown is not in the pounds, huh. but in the what it symbolizes. Oh, Ganun ba yun? Mm. Ang lalim naman ang sagot mo. <laughs> Para naman tayong nasa contest pa rin. Nanalo ka na, dai. So itong si Anna, may punto. May punto talaga siyang aliman. You are half German. Oh, okay, so sino yung German, sino yung Pil Pilipino? So my mom is the Filipina and my dad is the German. Mm -hmm. And my mom is actually here, so... Oh, mommy! I wanted to do a cameo. Ibig mo sabihin as a child in Germany. Doon ka na pinanganak? Opo. Okay, as a child in Germany, hindi alam ng mama mo na ambition mong maging beauty queen? Oh, actually, when I grew up, I didn't know that I wanted to be a beauty queen. Kasi when you grow up in Germany, it's not something someone wants. 
No one knows about being a beauty queen there. So, talaga, okay, like, hindi uso ang pageant. Wala po. Ay, dito I, sa Pilipinas, bawat barangay may pageant. Oo po, maraming even sa school, 'di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. I didn't know. Ah, doon wala. So, wala talaga as in none. Okay. Or if if you're announced as Miss Jeremy, no one knows you. So, really? Oh, oh, it's not their pri beauty is not their priority. <laughs> Maybe um, po. Okay. So for me, uh, it really started when I was uh, seeing 2015 that Pia Wurzbach won because she's from the same city as I am. From so the Germany. same city, kayo ni Pia Wurzbach. Oh, po. Wow. So I was like, oh. And both half German. Oh, po. Okay. So and yeah, then? I was like, okay, this is really inspiring, and that's when I really got involved into pageantry. And when Catriona won, I was like. Okay, maybe I, I should try and, and go to the Philippines. But then pandemic happened, of course, and I had struggles with finishing my studies, but I kept pushing through. And then two weeks after I finally got my bachelor's in science, I moved to the Philippines and made my dream come true. Ano bang height mo? Parang ang giraffe. 5'11 giraffe. po. Huh? 5'11 po. 5'11 lang ba yan? But parang si Bakit parang 7 feet? Hindi. Hindi po. <laughs> Maybe yung boyfriend ko. Charing, wala. Oh, meron ah. Wala po. Oh, wala talaga. Wala. So, yung boyfriend mo, dapat 8 feet ang height? Pwede. Meron pa. Charing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, growing up, were you always the tallest in school or? Um, I was. I was. I actually was. It was hard to uh -oh. get to my height. Talaga? <laughs> oh, so, mahirap mag-date kung ganyan kakatangkad? Conti mm, lang, pero it's hard because you know I want someone who also values the Filipino values, uh -oh. and it's hard to find someone who also can understand. I think my European side and my Filipino side. Pero what's really more important to me is that someone really understands that my family is really important, and that I keep my friends and family really close to me. And that's difficult to find it is. among. Among Nowadays in Germans. dating, everyone is just on dating apps, diba? So, well. Totoo ba? Mm. Ah, so hindi nila naintindihan yung kultura ng Pinoy. Hindi masyado. Mm. Kasi parang medyo malayo, ano? German and Philippine culture. Oh, po. Oo, so parang. Bad. In Europe, it's more like the Spanish that understands us. Yung may ganong klaseng heritage. I'm feeling ko. Yeah, yes. they're also really big on family. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. oh. So, wow! So, ang hirap siguro na mangarap maging beauty queen in a culture na walang pakialam sa mga beauty pageant. Opo. Oh, diba? It is. Oo. Oh, oh. So, patago ang mga practice mo, ganon, yung mga walking-walking, modeling-modeling. Opo. Oh, I did modeling before sa Austria and sa Germany, pero it's different because you're walking super stiff. It's not like here if you do rampa or fashion show. You're walking super stiff and your face is like that. I see. So, ganun pala yun. So, um, but growing up, why did you have to polish cars? Opo, para siya naging mekaniko. Eh, hindi ko nga alam kung mekaniko o tagahugas ka lang ng kotse. At least Mercedes-Benz. Oh, syempre po. Mm -hmm. So, during my vacation or my summer break during my university, I was trying to find work to afford going to the Philippines. Ah, you had to pay for your way. Oh, po. I, I really had to spend all my money that I made my own. So I really had to do it on my own because my parents told me, if you want to do this, you have to do this on yourself. So, ah. wala nang choice. <laughs> okay, oh, maganda. Oh, so, oh, natutu po. natutunan mo na pagka pinaghirapan mo, may oh, mararating po. ka talaga. Oh, po. Because they told me, you can do whatever you want after you finished your education. And I did. And they were shocked. But okay lang. Okay. Oh, so, meron ka ng college degree na nalo ka pa. Po. Oh, so, siguro naman proud na sila, no? Oh, Siyempre po. Hindi ba? Making a beauty queen. What does it take to be a beauty queen? In your case, you tried once. Di ba, Twice dati? Po. Twice na? Opo. Oh, Ana Valencia Laclini Patan! Alam mo, uso talaga sa mga beauty pageant yan, ano? Yung talagang... Try once, try twice, and third time's the charm. <laughs> right? Hindi ba? Oh, Bakit hindi? So, nung unang beses na rumampa ka, I mean, what, what did it take? Um, and then you didn't make it. Heartbreaking. Um, it's, it's not only heartbreaking, it's you put a lot of effort, time, and also money into it. 
And for me, it was really difficult because, you know, I didn't know anything about pageantry. So really last year was for me trying to test the waters and see how far I could go. And I always wanted to be in the Philippines, not only to join Vini Vini Filipinas, but also to be closer to my family. And to but it's really hard if you don't really believe in yourself because I was doubting myself so much. I was like, can I really represent the Philippines? And whereas this year I got to know myself more, I really practice in mindfulness and being in the moment present and appreciating everything. And now with doing that and also, you know, having the ability with Aces and Queens and Origin Management to really be who I am, I think that's, that's really the main essence for me. Cause confidence. Oh, confidence and being yourself. Knowing yourself and mm. being yourself. Ah, ganon. Because oh, this year I was on the stage and I was like, I'm gonna win this. <laughs> so last year, Do you know it, that Pia Wurzbach told me that. Atanaga. She was telling herself she was going to win. Atanaga. E parang ano manifestation? Yung parang ah basa mananalo ako. Ako mananalo. Ganon ganon siya magsalita sa sarili niya. Oh, oh. So that's also what you did. Oh po, kasi last year I could I could tell that I'm not winning, but this year was like. Before I was announced, I was like, I'm gonna win this. <laughs> Tito oh. oh po. I can't believe na mataba ka dati. In fact, been a body shame ka dati. Oh, po. What do you mean? I mean, uh, what? They, were you bullied because you gained weight? Pandemic happened, and I was really at my peak in sports. I was running 14K every week, and it was really hard. But then, somehow, I was eating also a lot, because, you know, you can't go outside, you're just running, parang ganon. Ano ang ginawa mo para pumayat ka? Oh, actually, I would suggest to everyone that you don't have to do a diet because for me a diet is always a restriction and if I have a restriction I will always crave for the things that I'm restricting myself which is what I learned yes last year because last year everyone told me Anna do a diet eat just dogging lang and eggs and even my mom told me that and it's so hard to like restrict yourself only to this limited amount of kamote sogging and eggs so I was like, okay, I, I mean, I studied nutrition. So oh. I was like searching for a way for me to be happy in a month. But, oh, what I, do you, but what do you say about the body shaming part? Oh, it's really hard because as a beauty queen, you're a role model to so many people. And people always portray you as the role standard. Mm -hmm. However, for me, it wasn't really, it was really a backlash. Because, you know, I know that I haven't been like really, really big in comparison to before pandemic. But I think it's normal that we gain some weight during the pandemic because you can't go outside. And it happened to so many people. But as a beauty queen, I really got bashed mm. so bad. And okay, how do you handle bashing online? I don't really read it. I really mm. focus on my supporters, on my family, my friends. I only focus on the good and don't let the negative comments go Block them. inside me. <laughs> <laughs> but this year I'm really strong because this year I'm not even letting anyone else like dictate me how, how, how I am or how I'm feeling or what they think of me. It's just the only thing that matters to me is really what I think about myself and if I'm happy with my performance. Ganon. I love that. Thank you. Oh, oh, talagang you were born to be yourself. But your advocacy is health. Why health? Yeah, it's health and nutrition po. Kasi I studied nutritional science. And with that said, I was really thinking about what to study. So when my mom was also diagnosed with breast cancer, I really dedicated my studies to her and also my bachelor thesis. So having this platform here with Bini Beating Filipinas and as a beauty queen, I really wanted to educate more people about proper nutrition, about having a healthy diet, mm. and doing more feeding programs. Because I did one two months now ago, but I'm planning to do more. Oh, we need nutrition in the Philippines. Oh, yes. And right. we have so many, because I've been also working with you, STP Card, and you know, we're advocating for indigenous vegetables, and we have so many here. Yes. But Still, I don't know. We're we're still like still sticking to just adobo, but we could still put like some vegetables in there, naman. Oh, so, naman. Oh. Kailangan talaga yon. Wow, nutrition. Oh, oh. Great. So I hope you stay longer in the Philippines after you win Miss Globe. Anna Lacrini. How do you prepare for Q and A? I mean, I think that's the uh, most 
nakakatakot yan, di ba? Kasi oh, madali oh. na yung national costume, pati yung gown mo. Pero pa, paano mo maghahandaan ng Q&A? Well, actually, last year, my experience with Q&A was, on that stage, you can answer with everything. And I could come up with everything. However, I feel like my passerella performance wasn't that great. And this year, it was my passerella performance was on top. But when they asked me the question, I wouldn't say I was scared, but my mind was just blacked out. I couldn't think about the next word I'm going to for. Parang ganon. Ano yon? Paano yung pag nagblackout ka jan? Opo, pero okay, I was still managing to answer naman. So finally, nakapasa naman, nanalo ka naman. Opo, and I also had the help of friends. I let's claim it. Mananalo ka, dai. Thank you. Mananalo ka. Ay, matuto ka na naman ganon klasing salita. Dito sa Pilipinas talagang ganon ang mga pananalita dito. And as we know, lahat tayo alam natin ang pinaka nakakayanig na bahagi ng isang pageant ay ang Q&A. Sabi nga nila, back to zero ka pagkatapos or before Q&A and then iba na naman ang pagtingin sa'yo ng hurado. So, kinuha namin ang ilan sa mga makabagbagdamdaming mahihirap na mga tanong sa mga nanalong mga Filipina ng mga international pageants. O, di ba, mga tanong sa mga Miss Universe natin, Miss International, at yan ang nandito ngayon na pipiliin ng ating tatlong binibining Pilipinas. Winners, okay. Are you ready for your practice for taking over, Miss First runner-up of Bini Bini Pilipinas, Katrina Johnson. Take your pick. Okay, hindi ito lumpiang Shanghai. Ito ay mahirap na tanong na binigay kay Miss Gloria Diaz, the very first Filipina Miss Universe. Handa ka na ba? Kaka-fresh, sure. In the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. This is in the 1960s. <laughs> if a man from the moon landed in your hometown, mm. what would you do to entertain him, knowing he's already been to the moon? Ooh. Ayan. And bibigyan natin sila ng 30 seconds to think. For me, if I had the chance to show him around my hometown, the first thing I would want to do is probably take him to a good meal. I know that astronauts don't have the best food um, choices up there in space, and I think that he'd probably want someone to talk to, to run him through everything that's been happening down on Earth while he's been up there. So definitely kind of be a friend and treat him to a good meal, to show him a good time. And the way to a man's heart is through, through his, his stomach. stomach. True. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Ayan, first runner up of Bini Bini Pilipinas, Katrina Johnson. And the next question is for Bini Bini Pilipinas Globe, Anna Lacrini. Okay. Ay, hindi pala. Ikaw pala ang magpipili dito. Ayan. No, no, no. I trust you. You trust me. Okay. So... This was a question to Rufa Gutierrez. Ayan. What would you tell a girl for low self-esteem to make her feel better about herself? 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would always tell that girl to stick in to who she is and always believe in herself. Because no matter what other people are saying and no matter what other people think, you should always think big for yourself. And if you believe in yourself, if you know who you are, and if you really incorporate the values that you have and have your family and friends within you or besides you, then you can, nothing can stop you. Yay! Panalo na tayo! Miss Globe Anna Lacrini, thank you so much. O, eto na. Isa na lang tanong ang naiwan. You have no choice. Eto na. Binibining Pilipinas International, Angelica Lopez from Palawan, please. Okay. As if naman may iba pa, no? Ayan. Okay. And this was a question again for Margie Moran. Okay. As Miss Universe. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. Naku, iba nung 1960s. Iba na ngayon. Times 57 na po. 
A million dollars is 57 million pesos. What's the first thing you would buy mm. and why would you buy it? 30 seconds. Ooh, I would probably buy guitar. Because guitar. my parents are musicians, and whenever I hold a guitar, it really reminds me of my parents. Mm -hmm. I am a musically inclined person as well, and I always express myself, my thoughts and emotions, through playing a guitar and singing. So I would like wow. to remind myself through the music because it has also taught me a lot of values that I have get from my mother and my father. Wow! Talaga na ang mahal naman ng gitara niyo! Wow! Yes. Mahal, mas mahal po yung sa dad ko dyan. Oo, oh, oh, hindi ba? Ayan! And these are the Binibining Pilipinas winners, mga kaibigan. Let's claim it! Sila ang magwawagi! Palakpakan! And kawai-kawai pag may time to all Net25 viewers. Till the next episode!